During my four years of keeping invertebrates, I have noticed a lot of misinformation and myths spreading about them. One thing I notice in common is that almost everyone thinks that they are dangerous because of certain behaviors and adaptations they don't even show or have. So this is the first video in a long series of the top four invertebrate myths. Let's debunk them. At number four, we have centipedes being highly poisonous and being able to kill you in one bite. There are two wrong facts right there in the statement. First off, centipedes are venomous and not poisonous. I've covered the difference between poison and venom in this video. The main difference being that venom is used to attack prey via being injected as compared to poison. Also, humans aren't exactly centipede dinner. Centipede venom is designed to kill small insects and larger animals like rats, not humans. The next misconception is that you swallow seven or more spiders in your sleep during your lifetime. Simply not true, here's why. Spiders, like almost all invertebrates, try to keep their distance from humans. They have the ability to sense the smallest of vibrations which help them to catch prey. Human breathing is like a storm for them. They can easily sense our presence and since we are monsters compared to the little spiders, they just keep their distance. The very chance of even one, let alone seven spiders, crawling into your monstrous mouth while you sleep is very unlikely. Don't kill them for this. Actually, don't kill them at all. They're very useful. At number two, we have a myth that bees are just out there to sting you and will do so if they encounter you. They just aren't. Bees have entered my animal room multiple times. As a matter of fact, there's even a bee right here right now. And they haven't stung me once. Why? Because I didn't disturb their nest or try killing them. Creatures like bees don't exist to kill people. Nor can they for the matter. They have existed way before us. They are stingers release venom which helps them in defense. An exception to the general purpose of venom. Remember, defense. Bees would not simply waste their time and energy trying to sting humans and doing so for no reason. They aren't like humans. And also their stings are not very harmful to us. Come on, there's no reason that they'll harm us if we do not disturb them. They can still be absorbed though. Alright, number one. This is just bonkers. The common myth that earrings crawl into your ears and eat your brain. We all must have heard about this in our childhoods, right? Earwigs simply don't or cannot do that. First of all, it is kind of difficult to climb a monstrous figure like a human just to enter that orifice. Even if they do accidentally fly that, yes, some species fly, they won't burrow all the way into your brain and eat it. The ear's anatomy simply prevents him from doing that. They mostly might just simply crawl out. The pincers at the back, known as cerci, are not present to cling to your ear lobules. They are as fighting tools to win mates and to defend against potential predators, which we certainly aren't. Most people despise invertebrates due to the myths they hear about them. If no further research is done, then anything you hear can be taken as true. If something said about them sounds weird, do your own research to find out how correct it is. And if it's wrong, then tell those people. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the short debunk session. More such videos shall be released on the channel and I shall take your help to debunk these misconceptions. You can do so by directly messaging me questions on Instagram at the creature wars and by commenting on this video. You can further help by subscribing to delve into the interesting world of invertebrates and other creatures with correct facts. This is ABSE signing out. Take care, research more and goodbye.